So Cancers, how are you? Hopefully you guys are doing well. This is going to be a current energies look at what's going on with you. So let's get into it. Of course, I'm going to link below the decks that I'm going to be using as well as some of my favorite decks. So just check below and also check there for the information to book a session if you want one. Um, and let's get into it. Cancer's current energies. First card. Well, we'll just take these three. Let's take them. We have the high priestess in reverse, the moon card, and we also have the two of wands in reverse interesting cancer so right off the bat you guys could be being a little too hard on yourself so just right off the bat i want to say during this time frame even if things get hectic for you more on the emotional side you want to be careful of letting your emotions run rampant and making you want to kind of like beat yourself up for things that you feel like you should have listened to your intuition intuition for or you should have known sooner this or that there is no need for you to be hard on yourself because there was a higher lesson that you guys needed to experience where you sat in this energy of uncertainty for a little bit to get to a point to where it makes you so uncomfortable for change. Um, some of you have been, I don't want to say comfortable, but okay with where you're at. And it almost kind of translated in to being like, into settling, let's just be honest. And when I say settling, this is more of like settling for things that you're like, eh, I'm not really 100% happy with this career, but it pays the bills. Or like settling for results that you're not 100% wanting, but it's like, okay, well, it is what it is. So this is like the universe almost essentially forcing you to step out of the comfortable place that we all know and love and we all eventually you know sometimes stop there and, and get into a point a place of feeling like we don't really have to um, grind as hard or be as dedicated to like I said our self-love journey and our self-growth journey but another thing that I see moving on from that yeah, I see that some of you may be feeling as if you should have listened to yourself when it comes to a specific person in your life. There was a lot of elusiveness or like secrets or just sneakiness associated with a specific person around you. And you guys really maybe at your breaking point with the fact that this person is so secretive or elusive or even hard to just understand. They may not be necessarily secretive, but they just may be really hard to understand or get exactly what they're trying to, you know, get from you. What are their intentions? Do you want to be in a relationship with me or do you not? And I really see this mainly from my people who are dealing with someone who's like newer in their life or even somebody who you've been dealing with for a while. It's just, they're just so elusive in regards to what they want that it's just so hard to pin what's going on. But we also have that two of cups energy, the four of wands and also the magician card. So yeah, I see a big focus on relationships that consist of like, some of you being married or having children with this other person, but there's, there's change you want. There's change you want. You want this person to not seemingly be, you know, manipulative in some cases or not to just do certain things. And you may be in a space where it's like, okay, is this something that could be worked on? Or is this something that we're just going to have to cut our losses with? Also looking at like another family relationship, you may be in question on whether or not that can actually be mended. This may be a relationship with like a parent or somebody who you hold near and dear and it just may have not been in the best standing for a while now. And it's kind of hurting you that this relationship is not as strong. And, and like I said, some of you are going to be considering whether or not to, you know, 
mend fences with someone. That's the word I will use, yeah. Hmm. Now let's go ahead and pull some of these. Cancers, current energies. We have the fifth chakra. So this card has been coming out for a lot of zodiac signs. I think that there's something with the throat chakra. People are really needing to learn how to better communicate during this time frame, especially since we are going through Mercury retrograde. Now, let's discuss this energy. Like I said, fifth chakra. We have the garden and the gate, and we also have the second chakra. And we're just going to leave this upright. So like I said, with the fifth chakra, there's going to be communication issues that may come up. This may have a lot to do with the Mercury retrograde. So it's, it's nothing personal. Like I said, this has definitely been a reoccurring card. But during this time frame, make sure that you say what you mean and mean what you say. Make sure you're not saying anything that you also may regret later on down the line and make sure you are being as clear as possible. There is definitely going to be some miscommunication that may happen through like emails, text messages. So if you have anything important to say, don't text it. <laughs> That's just gonna be your heads up, all right? Uh, we also have that garden the gate energy here. So... This is all about you coming out of your comfort zone completely. There's a need for you guys to make sure that you're completely coming out of the space of wanting to cling on to what feels familiar and needing to be open to what's on the other side of the gate, which is opportunity for growth. And then the other piece of advice that your spirit guides kind of want me to pass on to you when it comes to the second chakra, and I believe that that's the solar plexus, because the way that this card is looking, this looks like this, um, or not the solar plexus, sorry, the sacral chakra. Yeah, this would be the sacral chakra. So yeah, so with this, there's definitely a need for you guys to work on your sexual energy, also taking care of your reproductive organs. <laughs> I'm trying to be PG-13. This is also taken in consideration of, like right now the creative blocks that you may be experiencing is because you are needing to go out of your comfort zone. And until you really allow yourself to have fun and, and play with the idea of this and the idea of that, you're gonna continue to feel blocked. So I think, Right now, you guys really need to let your, your juices flow. No pun intended, okay? Let's continue laying out the cards. Advice for my cancers. Okay, so the advice for you, we have asked for help from others. Communicate clearly and ask your angels. So there's a need for you to ask for help. If some of you are overwhelmed, if you're a business owner and your business is becoming too overwhelming as far as orders, packaging, keeping on top of it, you need to ask for help. You need to consider getting some help. Um, others of you, this is more of like in an emotional sense or in a mental uh, sense. Whatever sense you may be needing some help, don't be feel free to, don't be feel free, don't be scared to reach out to someone, of course someone you could trust, to help you. Okay. We also have communicate clearly. So like I said, communication is jumbled during this time frame. You really want to be careful of how you communicate or be careful of communication and saying things that you can't necessarily take back. And the last card, ask your angels, your spirit guides need you to check in and the best way to get guidance or even to get a little bit of help is to ask your angels to help you out and reveal things to you and point you in the right direction. So this is the current energies. I hope that you did enjoy. Of course, I will have the decks listed below. Feel free to check that out and check to see the information to book a session if that's what you're needing. And thank you guys for your support. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you in the next one.